Hi everyone, welcome to UEL Fashion Webinar. I am Ken Lee, Program Leader of the MA International Fashion Business. And today I'm leading on a session called Fashion After the Coronavirus Crisis. Before we start the session, I just wanted to introduce a bit about myself. I am a fashion marketing consultant and now academic. Um, I've been working in the industry for just over 10 years now. I was born in Vietnam, um, educated in Australia and settled in the UK a few years ago. Over the last decade, I have had many amazing opportunities to work um, with some of the world leading brands such as Inditex, um, Zara, uh, Condé Nast, Burberry. Um, I realized I quite enjoy teaching, especially in the areas of fashion business and marketing. In 2017, I established the MA uh, program, uh, International Fashion Business, with two pathways, uh, fashion business and luxury branding at the University of East London and has been running this very successfully uh, since then. Uh, so just so you know, I do know what I'm talking about. Um, the pandemic earlier this year has changed everything. Many industries suffered, especially retail, tourism and hospitality. Fashion is one of them. In North America, um, as I recall, um, the fashion and beauty industry as a whole generates about $600 billion uh, in annual revenue and employ across um, 4 million people. Now that lockdown is doing effect the same amount of people are losing their job. In the UK, many big retailers are going to administration. Even big brands such as Primark, for example, is now building up to 1.5 billion of unsold stock. That is to say, fashion is in crisis. And as we are certainly heading towards an economic uh, recession, something not essential like fashion will be affected even more. But we're not here to say how bad the pandemic is and how it's affected, uh, or how, how it affects the fashion industry. We have the media for that. I'm here with um, some suggestions or, or lessons for the fashion communities to really look into the problems and see how we can recover or learn from the crisis. Of course, this is based on my very limited experience as a professional and academic. And if you have more to add, feel free to keep in touch and discuss more. Um, well, lesson number one, uh, I think that we need a better, more sustainable business model. Uh, the pandemic is a um, quite unfortunate wake-up call for many, many fast fashion brands. Um, and, and retailers have been, looking, uh, have, have been looking for cost cut by overbuying. Which has, which has led to fast fashion culture of sales, two for ones, um, you know, 70, 80 percent off, and garments has a uh, price so low, it's impossible not to wonder how brands get away with it. And we can see the result now. An excess of clothing has often ended up in landfills and a supply chain where garment workers are paid far below a livable wage. And this problem is now um, as, um, as, uh, as advocated by an inevitable economic recession. Uh, I read uh, on Harvard Business Review that um, a small minority of companies that invested in mapping their supply network before the pandemic emerged are better prepared for this. So after fast fashion, what's next? It's up to you to decide. Um, lesson two, um, companies need to incorporate environmental impact or environmental responsibility into their, their culture and their strategy. Um, as many countries are to suffering from the devastation of COVID-19. Um, however, the planet is unexpectedly benefit from the worldwide pause. Um, if you've been watching the news, um, there's a lot of interesting environmental changes. For the first time in decades, um, you know, the absence of motorized boats among the Venice canals has, has given residents there a chance to view much better uh, nature, clearer fresh water. 
uh, air pollution has decreased around, around the globe, especially in China, uh, where travel restrictions have resulted in uh, carbon dioxide emissions dropping from 10, 30%, uh, 30% lower than they normally are. Um, the, this unusual time of global students um, has experts predicting that not only will consumers gain valuable perspective about what is actually essential to our lives, but they will bring those uh, revolution, uh, revelations uh, to a post-COVID-19 world. Um, for me, since the lockdown started in the UK, um, I, as a fashion consumer, just realized I stopped shopping things that I once considered essential stuff. Um, I prefer comfortable clothes now that are durable. I shop less and no longer feel I need to buy new seasonal clothes and accessories. And more importantly, I stopped throwing away clothes after the season is out. I am sure that many of us are now slowly realizing how consumed we are in the fast fashion culture. And um, stepping back to a more responsible um, shopping habit. Um, the Guardian uh, last month um, in the fashion section um, stating this, and, and I'm, I'm quoting, the only way to ensure we cut CO2 and end the cycles of overproduction and waste is to imagine a whole new system that places Earth needs before those of industrial growth. With, uh, with consumers slowly changing their behaviours, companies will need to make the clear connection between eco-responsibility and financial recovery from this crisis. Um, we must look in, uh, we must look at the industry um, holistically and change our relationship to it. Um, in order to save the planet and keep the fas uh, fashion industry afloat. Um, and that's the end of Have a Chat. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it and find it informative and enjoyable. Feel free to keep in touch um, if you would like to have more information or would like to discuss. Uh, my email is uh, k.le at ul.ac.uk. And thank you for watching.